As more people can work from home, more Americans are moving, and the Better Business Bureau is receiving a record number of complaints about moving scams. Consumer reporter John Matteris helps you avoid getting ripped off in his Don't Waste Your Money report. A woman wants to know what happened to her movers after they failed to show up three different times, even though she gave them a deposit. It's a warning to anyone who might have to move. Audrey Coaston Shelton is finally unpacking in her new apartment. Something she worried wasn't going to happen. She paid a moving company a $100 deposit, but then the movers never showed. The moving company says, well, none of our trucks are back. And so they rescheduled, but never showed on the second date or the third date. Well, they didn't show up on three different right. days? They said, well, you know, it's late. OSHA says they can only work so many hours. She finally canceled and paid some neighbors to move her belongings. Now, May through August is peak season for moving. The Better Business Bureau says it's also peak season for complaints about movers. Last year, the Bureau had over a thousand complaints nationwide, up 200 percent from the year before. The BBB's Josiel Ehrlich says no-show movers are one of the top complaints. The other, movers holding your goods hostage until you pay more. Be careful of lowballers. Those are people who come in and give you a very low quote. It all sounds great. They come, they pick up your belongings, they move them, but when it's time to drop them off, they say, hey, wait a minute, we have all these additional fees that we didn't tell you about. Ehrlich says to protect yourself, get quotes from three moving companies. Get a signed binding estimate or an estimate that says the maximum you will have to pay. And read reviews of the company on the Better Business Bureau's website. Audrey says next move, she'll do a lot more research. Moving is traumatic on its own, but to be pushed back. Audrey says next time she'll do a lot more research, so don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, ABC 27 News.